Hello friends, welcome to this next video on media theory. In the last video, we have uh, proved that the sum of two uh, Lebesgue measurable function is a Lebesgue measure function. In fact, we have proved that linear combination of two Lebesgue measurable functions is a Lebesgue measurable function. We have also also proved that the com uh, product of two measurable functions is a measurable function. In this video, we will prove that division of a two Lebesgue measurable function wherever defined is also a Lebesgue measurable function. So, what is the proposition? We have this following proposition. If f and g are two Lebesgue measurable functions, if f and g are two Lebesgue measurable function defined on a domain D, E, then f quotient g where g is not equal to 0 okay it means that f divided by g is defined for all those x for, for which g of x is not not 0 is also the big measurable function so let us prove this thing this is actually quite simple to prove so what you have to do we have to consider let b be any real number or c be any real number so by definition we are looking for uh, you know uh, the set x belongs to e such that 1 by gx is less than b actually what we are going to prove is we know that f is already the big measurable it is given to us f is already the big measurable function is given to us I'm sorry for this uh, delay. F is already Lebesgue measurable function given to us. So if we prove that 1 by G is Lebesgue measurable function, then using last video, we have proved that product of two Lebesgue measurable function is Lebesgue measurable function. So we can easily say that F upon G is a Lebesgue measurable function, right? So our task is to prove that 1 by G is a Lebesgue measurable function. And one more thing, we assume that gx is non-zero on e okay so it means that f by g is defined on e so f by g has domain e so you you must be uh, remembering that the definition of Lebesgue measurable function uh, consists of two points the first point is we have to prove that the domain of the function is a Lebesgue measurable set so f by g has domain d e and e is a domain of f and g and f and g are given to be Lebesgue measurable functions therefore e is a Lebesgue measurable set and therefore the domain of the set f uh, domain of the function f upon g is a Lebesgue measurable set so first point that the domain should be Lebesgue measurable function is clear right now okay so okay we are looking for this set right now what is this set in terms of g of x we want to convert this thing into g of x so uh, there are three possibilities so let us look at those possibilities so you have these three possibilities here b is either less than 0 or equal to 0 or greater than 0 okay so when b is less than 0 so it means that you have a situation like this this is your 0 and here is somewhere b right and you are looking for all those gx for which 1 by gx is less than b right so basically you want to want your 1 by gx to be here so first thing for sure is gx has to be less than 0 because if gs is greater than 0 then you will be on the right hand side of the line and you don't want that therefore you want your gx to be less than 0 for 1 by gx to be on the left hand side of the number line okay and what else 1 by gx is less than b if and only if your gx is greater than 1 by b okay so you want your gx should be greater than 1 by b then only your 1 by gx will be less than g so in this situation this set can be when your b is less than 0 you can write this set as x belongs to e such that your gx is less than 0 and greater than b 1 by b okay right and when your uh, b is equal to 0 so what do you want you want 1 by gx to be less than 0 it means that you want 1 by gx to be negative right so 
it means that you want your gx to be negative so in this situation your set can be written as x belongs to x such that gx is less than 0 right and when your b is greater than 0 you want your 1 by gx to be less than 1 by uh, uh, less than b it means that here is your 0 here is your b you want your g 1 by gx to be less than b so basically you want this is a set of this set can be written as x belongs to e such that gx is less than 0 union x belongs to e such that gx is less than b right you have separated these two parts sorry not gx 1 by gx now this set we have already seen what is this set this set can be written as from the part b this from here right this set this first set can be written as x belongs to e such that your gx is negative right and the second set how can you write this second set okay here you want you want your gx to be here so basically you want your gx to be positive right and you want your gx to be less greater than 1 by b so you want x belongs to e such that your gx is greater than 1 by b right okay so now see when what is this set this set further can be written as this set is nothing but x belongs to e such that gx is greater than 1 by b okay you want your gx to be between 1 by b and less than 0 intersection with so basically you have a situation like this this is your 1 by b this is 0 so you are looking for all gx which is greater than b and then look for all gx which is less than 0 so intersection with all gx for which gx is less than 0 right now this set is Lebesgue measurable set why because gx is given to be a Lebesgue measurable function and similarly this, this set is a Lebesgue measurable set because gx is a Lebesgue measurable function so this is a Lebesgue measurable set this is a Lebesgue measurable set and we know that intersection of two Lebesgue measurable set is a Lebesgue measurable set so this is a Lebesgue measurable set so we are done in the case when b is less than 0 and what is this look at this set this is a Lebesgue measurable set simply because f uh, g is given to be a Lebesgue measurable function right so in this case we don't have to do anything and here again this is a Lebesgue measurable set because g is a Lebesgue measurable function this is again a Lebesgue measurable set because g is a Lebesgue measurable function so Lebesgue measurable set Lebesgue measurable set and we know that union of two Lebesgue measurable set is a Lebesgue measurable set so this is a Lebesgue measurable set so in all the three cases we got that gx is a Lebesgue measurable set uh, sorry the this set not gx i'm sorry this set x belongs to e such that gx 1 by gx is less than b is a Lebesgue measurable set it implies that 1 by gx is a Lebesgue measurable function this is by the definition of Lebesgue measurable function right now you go back to your f f is given to be a Lebesgue measurable function 1 by g you have proved that is a Lebesgue measurable function and we know that the product of two Lebesgue measurable function is a Lebesgue measurable function so we have proved that f upon g is a Lebesgue measurable function wherever defined thank you